Hey guys, this is Inka. Today, I am very excited to share with you guys my Taiwanese beef noodle soup recipe. Beef noodle soup is very, very popular around Asia. I know different countries have different interpretations. In Taiwan, there are two distinct versions of beef noodle soup. One is the one with clear broth. We call it qingdu nyo rou mian. The other one is hong sao nyo rou mian. The main difference between the two is that the second one uses things like soy sauce, which adds a lot of color to the broth. It's also a lot more flavorful. That's the version I'll be making today because it's the one that my grandpa made me, my mom made me, and that now I make for myself. Different families also have their own ways of tweaking the recipe. I'm not saying that this is the best beef noodle soup recipe ever, but this is the one that I personally love the most because it's the one that I'm most familiar with. Hopefully you guys will also like it too. The first thing I like doing is actually to blanch my beef. The beef cut I'm using is actually the beef shank, which is a tougher cut of meat, but because we'll be cooking it for a long time, it's going to be perfect. I also have some scallions and some ginger. While this step isn't totally necessary, I do think that blanching helps get rid of the impurities that are in the meat, but more importantly, it also helps the beef kind of form its shape first. I have this big pot over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my beef shank, put my scallions to a side, lay my ginger on. And then I'm just going to fill it up with water. And then I'm just gonna bring this over to the stove top. You guys are gonna come with me. I'm just gonna wait for it to come to a boil. I'll check back on this later. I just took the meat out and I'm gonna let it cool slightly off to a side. You can see that the shape is really different from when we first started out. It just like shrunk. But don't throw away the liquid in the pot because we're gonna reuse that later for the soup. The next step is basically to create the base of the soup. So there's gonna be a lot of flavor, a lot of aromatics. This is what I have for that. I have some onions and some shallots. You can totally just use onions, but I do feel like shallots add some more flavor. I also have more ginger and a bunch of garlic. I'm adding a lot of garlic because I love garlic. I also have some apples and a tomato. I don't want it to be too tomato-y, that's why I'm only adding one. So my mom actually never used to put fruit in hers because she doesn't like it as sweet, but I have a sweet tooth, so I like adding in some fruit. I also like putting in some chili. And for sweetness, I'm actually using rock sugar. Rock sugar is definitely preferred over your normal refined cane sugar because it's a more subtle sweetness that I just think is better for soups and dishes like this. I also have this doban jiang. This is essentially what's going to give our beef noodle soup that core flavor. You also want some soy sauce and some rice wine. I think the most important thing is this spice packet right here. This is the magic ingredient. It also saves you so much time and effort to try and buy each of the spices individually. So for this one I bought, it has cinnamon, fennel, ginger, cumin, and clove in it. It just smells so good. Usually when my mom's making beef noodle soup, this is basically what I'm smelling. And you know once you have this that your broth will be amazing. Because I like the flavor of star anise, I am adding some of this in as well. That's basically it. Most of these ingredients are already chopped up. I'm just going to chop up my apples and tomatoes, and then we can start frying everything up. I'm gonna turn on the vent because it's gonna get a little bit smoky in here. I'm gonna add in my oil. I have all of my shallots, my onions, my garlic, ginger, chili, and also scallions. I'm just gonna toss them all in. Instantly there's that incredible smell of just everything coming together. This looks about good, so I'm gonna add in the rest of the sauces. I'm gonna start with my bean sauce. Honestly, you can go for the non-spicy one, but again, I think that extra kick is nice. And I'm adding in my rock sugar, rice wine, some soy sauce. Truly, this smells so good already. Once it starts bubbling like this, I'm gonna add my beef back in with like little parts. In you go. And essentially I'm just trying to coat them 
in this sauce, and in this goodness, it already smells like beef noodle soup. That's such a comforting smell. Now I can turn on the vent, and you can hear the little bubbling sounds. Ooh, it's hot. Careful, careful, careful. I'm gonna bring back that pot I had earlier. I am going to combine the two now. I'm gonna start off by dropping in the beef. The rest of this. Every last drop, instantly the color changes. This is the part where I'm gonna add in the apples and tomatoes as well as the spice packet. Spice packet going in. It is pretty much done. So I'm just going to wait for it to come to a boil and then I'm gonna turn down the heat. It's really just a matter of letting it simmer. So we'll check back in later. It smells really good already. So it's been a couple of hours. I basically just let the broth cook over low heat and then I just turned it off and let it sit there. I also took the beef out of the soup. It is so much softer. I'm very excited to cut into this. And now I'm just reheating the broth in the background and making some final adjustments. It's almost like a reddish brown right now. Gonna give it a little taste. It is definitely spicy, my goodness. So if you don't like spicy that much, I would recommend definitely not adding the chili. I do feel like it's a little on the sweeter side. I think my apples were really sweet. So I am going to add actually a little bit of salt and soy sauce to balance it out. And also because I like my broth to be a little darker, I like adding in this. We call this lao to. It is also known as dark soy sauce. It's actually less savory than light soy sauce, which is your regular soy sauce, but it has a richer caramel color. My mom usually adds this because she likes it to be a darker brown, so I'm also going to do that. And that's pretty much it. So on this other end, I'm actually going to cook up some noodles. These are the noodles I'm using. They are not too thick and not too thin. They have a good chew to them. This is the type of noodle that my grandpa used to use at the local market near my grandparents' house. There's like a noodle shop that sells these fresh every morning. This one reminds me of that, so this is the one I usually go with. Got my chopsticks ready. Toss this in. While my noodles are cooking, I'm gonna slice up the meat. The meat is always the best part. Woohoo! All right. Oh yeah, so this is correct. It should go right in. It's so tender now, it pretty much just falls. So this is kind of how I like it served. Different places do it differently, but my mom always served it like this. But I'm gonna give this a try. The beef has been sitting in the broth for so long that it's just absorbed all those flavors and it's also like so wonderfully tender. Honestly, if you don't wanna eat the noodles and you just wanna eat the beef, that's totally fine. And I'm pretty much ready to plate it up. For our family, we usually like to pour a little bit of dark soy sauce at the bottom of the bowl, adding in a little bit of scallion. Then I like putting in the noodles and I just like to coat them a little bit with the soy sauce. The next thing is to add the broth. Usually for this step, depending on how concentrated the broth is, I like to mix it with some of that water we used to cook the noodles. So it's hard to say specifically how much I would say to adjust to your preference. I can just pour that in. There it is. This is, um, beef noodle soup. There's the beef, and if you just pull out your noodles, look at that, so excited to dig in. This really just smells like childhood. That first sip of the broth always just like takes me back to my grandparents' house. So good, the noodles are perfect. They really soak up the broth right away. I'm gonna take a bite of this. You don't even need the noodles, you can just make the beef. I think beef noodle soup, ooh. This is truly just one of the best comfort foods, especially during winter time. I really encourage you to try this at home so then you guys can also be able to enjoy this wonderful dish. Very, very excited to finish this now and I will see you guys next time. Bye.